let's take pictures of you stand there with those two actors and police uniforms. Everybody, Greta Thunberg's been arrested. More specifically, she's been fake arrested in a big sham show for propaganda. It's great. Welcome back to the JP Reacts channel, my beautiful freedom-loving friends, where we love to call out the lies, hypocrisy, and corruption of tyrants. Now, Greta Thunberg, I hate to call her a tyrant. I don't think she is. I think she's a puppet. I think tyrants control her, which in my opinion is really abusive. But anyway, she's going along with it, so the joke's on her, and it's her fault. So, in the headlines, Greta Thunberg was detained by German police while protesting a coal mine in Germany. And uh, let me show you. Here's the iconic picture that's gone all over the media. Here's little old sweet Greta Thunberg. And she, I think she's 19 at this point. Still looks like she's eight. I don't know if she has like that disease that makes you always look young. But anyway, Greta Thunberg being carried away because she is standing for the cause of climate. Screw that coal that we use to run our electric cars. Screw that coal, it's hurting the environment. Haven't you heard all the fear propaganda about the climate? So she's being arrested. This beautiful self-sacrifice of Greta, she is a symbol to preferably be imitated by all young people around the world. Here's another picture of her being just hauled off, like she is just standing for her, her cause, being willing to be arrested while sitting in front of a coal mine. That's what the media tells us has happened. We find out through behind the scenes footage, this was all fake. It was absolutely a sham. It's just propaganda. The arrest was just for the cameras. Let me show you a video. We'll take a look at the behind the scenes of what actually happened. And I'm pulling this from a great Instagram account, uh, Freedom Convoy 2022 is the Freedom uh, Truckers Convoy from Canada. Their account, let's take a look. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take pictures of you stand there with those two actors in police uniforms. <laughs> you also want those for you, man? And then one officer's even joking with her. It's not an officer, it's an actor. So I think this is important to realize because it really reminds us how orchestrated the propaganda is, the narrative is. It's not based on truth. It's based on a fictional show that some people want us peasants to believe is true. That's the behind the scenes footage. Now, take a quick gander at how the mainstream media covered this arrest of Greta Thunberg, a symbol of climate activism. So this is from uh, msn.com. Renowned climate change activist Greta Thunberg, she's very renowned, was detained by German police Tuesday while protesting the demolition of a village for a coal mine, according to multiple reports. And he arrested, again, here's what the arrests look like. <laughs> Stand there for the cameras. You guys in the police officer uniform, just stand there. We got to get pictures here. The Swedish activist, oh, she's 20. Wow. Still looks like she's eight. Traveled to Western Germany to protest against the demolition of the village, participating in demonstrations at the site throughout the weekend. Thunberg's detention comes days after she and other protesters were reportedly removed from the site. What are the police saying, according to the media? So are the police in on the propaganda, or is this just the media saying the police said that? You be the judge. A spokesperson for the HN police confirmed to Reuters Thunberg was part of a group near the edge of a coal mining cliff, and so she was stopped and carried by us with the group out of immediate danger area to establish their identity. Is Greta Thunberg going to jail? <laughs> Do actors have the legal authority to arrest anybody? Like, no, she's not going to jail. She's taking a walk through the mud while being carried by these people in police uniforms. But 
What's the media say about is she going to jail? German media outlet Bild reported after police had detained Thunberg, she was taken to an area where other detained protesters were being held. She was then escorted and placed into the back of a police van, but the destination of the van was unknown, probably because it wasn't going to the police station. A police spokesperson told Reuters that Thunberg, as well as other detained protesters, will be released later in the day. There is no reason to hold them for days. It might, might take hours or they will go immediately, a spokesperson told the outlet. I apologize. I read at the age equivalent that Greta looks. And then also, nothing to do with this story, but here's a picture of Greta yelling into the microphone. <laughs> it's like, Greta, your main talent is being able to yell in socially awkward ways. Here's a mic, go yell. <laughs> <laughs> like your other talent is just doing as you're told. So go stand there. Uh, people in the police uniforms are going to pick you up. We're going to, but before that, we're going to get a good photo op. Then they're going to pick you up. We're going to have them walk just the right speed. We're going to get pictures head on. Just imagine the coverage. It's going to be on front page websites all over the world, Greta. This is the fake arrest of Greta Thunberg. It's an insult to the intelligence of humanity, but I'm glad they do this because the lies, hypocrisy, and corruption of tyrants, in my opinion, is best when there's daylight shining on it. It's a little more devious, a little more dangerous when it's operating in the shadows, but when you can see clear as day what they're doing, the beauty of that is you're not going to fall for it. The other beautiful part of that is it's absolutely hilarious. <laughs> so with that said, my dear freedom loving friends, I want to tell you in just a second about a special World Economic Forum I've got to offer you. So let me throw it over to my colleague, JP. Take it away, JP. Hey there, my friends. Before you go, I want to celebrate. It is that time of year again when the elites and all the elected leaders of our world gathered at the World Economic Forum in Davos, which is pretty much the uh, tyrant Olympics. So they're trying to decide how you and I are gonna live our lives. I'm glad that they're doing this. I'm glad they're delusional enough to think they can control us. And I wanna know exactly what their plans are because I like to know exactly what dreams of tyrants to piss on with my liberty. Now, during this time when they're gathering and, you know, telling us you should eat crickets while they eat filet mignon and caviar, I think we have one of two choices. You can either become more obedient or more brave. And in response to the World Economic Forum, I'm running a special sale on two special designs, which I think are the appropriate response for the World Economic Forum. The first design is pissing on the dreams of tyrants with my liberty. And the second design is telling the World Economic Forum exactly how obedient we will be with their plans for how we're gonna live our lives. If you'd like to check out either of these designs during special World Economic Forum week, you can use the discount code WEF at my website for 20% off. That's awakenwithjp.com. Discount code WEF for 20% off. Good through the end of January. Suck it, World Economic Forum. I left my car running just because I can.